Alright guys, come on, so welcome back to Liverpool Career Mode, episode 69. And the first thing I'm going to start with is, Suarez needs to... SHUT THE FUCK UP! Yeah, exactly, he needs to shut the fuck up because he keeps talking and talking and about how he wants to play alongside Ronaldo. I mean, how are you going to even play alongside Ronaldo when it looks like he'll probably be off to Man United? So if Suarez does go, he's going to look like a right fucking idiot. But anyway, we've got Arsenal in the semi-finals of the Capital One Cup, or the Cock Cup as some people call it. What a shit name for a cup. So yeah, back on Suarez, he's just been a bit of a prick, to be honest. I mean, when he first said he wanted to leave, I was like, yeah, fine. I mean, I thought it was disrespectful to not even tell the club first, but, you know, I understood why he wanted to leave. But now he's been a massive prick. He's done, like, three interviews, and he's been talking all this shit about joining Real Madrid. And I've, had a, I've pretty much had enough of it, to be honest. I mean, I love Suarez, I do. I still got love for him, I don't know why. It's just the way I feel about him because I know he loves Liverpool, I do, I know he loves Liverpool. But I don't give him the right to constantly disrespect the club all the time with these fucking interviews. Just keep your fucking mouth shut. So a few legends that keep asking what I think on this Suarez situation, I just think he should just fuck off. It's as simple as that. He clearly don't want to play for the club anymore, so fuck him. You know what I mean? The club moves on without him. Thanks for everything you've done for us. I, mean, I appreciate all the hard work you put in, all those goals you scored. I loved it when you dived in front of David Moyes. I loved it when you mixed all the Man United players. But the big mistake you made, Suarez, was disrespecting the club and the fans that, that backed you from day one. Brilliant opening. And here's a chance for Arsenal. Oh, that's what oh shit, what the football. fuck was that all about? What the... Let's have a look at this. Oh, you fucking tramp. Go, me look. Look at that. What the fuck's going on there? It was a fucking wrestling match in that box. What's Rainer doing? He, like, touched his balls or something. I don't know what was going on there, but... Fucking hell. I can't believe we're behind already. Yes! Get it, Alonso. Chabby Alonso. How can you not love this guy? How can you not love him? He's just amazing. I fucking love Alonso, me. What a, he's just got a great pass on him, he's just, I don't know, I just love him, I really do. Great goal that, fucking save that, whoever's in goal, I think Fabianski's in goal. Unbelievable, Fabianski's shit. This is, this is what I mean, if Arsenal want to challenge for a the title, they're going to need a new fucking goalkeeper, because Chesney makes too many mistakes in my opinion. I, I know a lot of you Arsenal fans like Chesney, well you love him, but he's just not good enough, he really isn't. Oh, what a save, Rainer. Yeah, so... You're going to need a new keeper, probably with someone like Mignolet or something. But I, I, even I don't rate him, to be honest. Uh, Jack Wilsh is the captain of Arsenal, that's mad. That's just dope, he didn't fucking betray him. Oh, go on, Suarez. Go on, son. How the fuck did Fabianski save that? It's Fabianski. It's not the fucking Terminator. You want to fuck with me? Oh, it's a draw. Oh, well. Arsenal played really well. Yeah, so that was an hour it was up. Apparently, Real Madrid are going to pay 80 million for Bale. If Spurs sell him for that much, they're going to be an absolute force. They really are, because AVB is a clever manager when it comes to signings. You see what he did for Chelsea in his like, short time there? He bought Lukaku, he got Mata, and Mata is pretty much their best player now. Another fucked up rumour is Torres could be going to Barcelona. Bullshit. I just don't understand why the fuck Barcelona would want Torres. I mean, they could sign any player in the world, and they want Fernando Torres. I want Shelby. Alright then. Fuck off, Shelby. See you later. Oh, I've got an offer for Ozil. Real Madrid want him. 60 million off. Fuck off. That's what I say. I think it will be a good move for Torres, but I think he'd be on the bench all the time. I think he should just go to Napoli. Rafa knows how to get the best out of him, so I think he should go there instead of Barcelona, because I think he'll be a bench warmer. Barcelona aren't going to bench Messi for Torres, are they? Let's be honest. I mean, I'd laugh if that happened. Barcelona are that good that they could probably do that, you know, because they've got Iniesta, Xavi... Just a great team, they could probably fucking bench Messi if they wanted to. You only want to pay 49.5 million? Are you serious? Real Madrid have got fucking loads of money, how can they only afford that? Fuck off. Give us 55 then. Right, so we've got Stoke next. And another thing that's been happening this week is Andy Carroll's been a bit of a prick. He's making sure he waits until the last minute to sign the West Ham contract. Because apparently he wants to prove himself at Liverpool. But let's be honest, Carroll's shit. I mean, he's not good enough for Liverpool. I mean, that might sound a bit harsh. I don't mean it in that way. I don't hate Carroll. But he's being a bit of a prick about it. I appreciate what he's done for us because he did score in the um, semi-final and the final of the FA Cup. Carroll's nothing compared to Sturridge because Sturridge is a great finisher. But Carroll, 
it just don't fit Liverpool's system and he's just he don't run around really to be honest. If I'm being honest, he's just average play. He'll do well for West Ham though, so that's a good sign for West Ham. I do think this team Oh, are you serious? Yakonan, as if Yakonan would sign for fucking Stoke. Oh, what a ball! Yes! Get in us here! What a ball from Alonso! Where's the Stoke manager? Where the fuck is he? I want to boot him in the face. Get in. Oh, celebrate with the fans, Ozil, because that'll be the last time. Because it looks like I'm going to sell you. Look at this. What a beautiful goal. It reminds me of the way Gerard and Torres used to link up. Gerard used to play, like, play a ball through and Torres would just fucking stick it in the back of the net. What the fuck did Carl Walker do then? What? This referee shit, he's being paid by Tony Pulis. Fuck off, referee. Oh, I like how he didn't show a replay. That was definitely not a penalty. Oh, fucking Yakonan. I nearly got there. Unlucky Pepe. Look how close he was to that. Yeah, Fuck off. That was a right. fucking to stupid penalty to give away. Carl Walker. I tell you what, if Carl Walker keeps fucking up, I'm going to have to replace him with Mika Richards because I'd love to have Mika Richards at Liverpool. His best mates with Danny Sturridge. Hey, referee, that's a penalty, that. Fuck off, referee. I'll let him over penalty them Carl Walkers. Fuck off. That's bullshit. Oh, for fuck's sake, we lost. Stoke just fucking defend, defend, defend. It's so annoying. I can't wait till they get fucking relegated. I hate them so much. Yes, John Joe Shelby's finally fucked off. Get in. Oh, what? They took a million off me. Oh, fuck off, FSG. Right, since John Joe Shelby's been sold, we can sign Aspaz, and I really like this guy. I always mention how much I like this guy. I just think he'll do really well at Liverpool. I don't know why. I've got a good feeling about him. Yeah, so back on Andy Carroll, I've seen some Liverpool fans saying, oh, we should have him back. And I really disagree with that massively because, let's be honest, he's not good enough for Liverpool. I mean, I've said it so many times and I'll say it again, but he's just not. Sturridge is just so much better than him. Some say, well, Barini's quite shit. Well, he's still a young lad and Carroll's getting on a bit. He's like, Carroll's like 25 or something like that. I mean, that's not that old, but Barini's still younger. He's still got more time. Yes, yeah, so Andy Carroll, if you're watching, I liked you. I supported you. And you didn't really do much at Liverpool. I mean, I, I appreciate the goals you scored in the, in the semi-finals and the FA Cup finals and whatnot. But you weren't good enough to be a Liverpool striker, unfortunately. No hard feelings. Stop being a prick. And shake Sam Allardyce's hand for fuck's sake and stop messing us about. We have reviewed your asking price of £55 million for us and have decided to match it and go ahead with a deal. Get in. So we sold those deal for £55 million. Mascarana shocks. He won't even be at Man United in the first place, for fuck's sake. He hates Man United. On every career mode, Mascarano goes to Man United. As if he'd go there, seriously. Like, he's at Barcelona. Some news just come in just now that uh, Pellegrini is officially the Man City manager. We've all known for like 10 years that he's going to be Man City manager. I mean, it's not like it's a big shock. But hopefully he gets Man City playing some good football. But they'll be using wingers because they signed Navas and that. Navas, what a player. I think he's a top, top player. He's got loads of pace. He's very like fast bastard. Oh yeah, another thing that happened this week was uh, Chelsea signed Shirley, and it sounds like fucking Shirley, doesn't it? A lot of people say he's a good player, but I've never actually seen him, so I can't really judge. But I don't know if he'll play as a striker or as a winger, because they've got Lukaku, and apparently Chelsea are trying to sign fucking Cavani and Jovetic. I don't understand why they'd sign both of those players. It looks like Lukaku will probably be on the fucking bench again. It just frustrates me to see the way Chelsea treat young players. He's definitely going to be the next Drogba, but the good thing about Lukaku is he won't be rolling on the floor every five seconds like Drogba always did. That used to always annoy me, but Drogba was a top player. I remember when he said in newspapers that we would swap Suarez for Robin. I mean, Robin's 29 years old, right? He's a bit of a prick. I don't like him at all. I think he's a bit of a crybaby, to be honest. Like, he always starts crying when things don't go his way, and I fucking hate players like that. But let's be honest, why the fuck would Robin leave the Champions League winners to sign for Liverpool? So Rodgers don't touch Robin with a fucking badge pole because he's a massive prick, and we don't want dickheads like him. Yes, Ozil's been sold. For well, fuck's sake, FSG have took some money off me, you bastards. Right, so now that Ozil's gone, we're going to need another centre attack in mid. Right, let's put a bid in for Matter because you all know I love Matter me. He's just, he's just amazing. He's my favourite Chelsea player. He's actually a nice guy in real life from what I've seen of him. It's just a shame he plays for Chelsea, to be honest. Right, let's offer him 25 million for him, even though he's worth more than that. Let's put a bid in for Adetoran as well, just in case Chelsea don't want to sell. 
Adetora is a Liverpool fan in real life, um, which is quite cool. I'm surprised I'm not going for him in real life because he'd jump at the chance to join Liverpool. Alright, it's San Big Papa because he's a fucking brick shit house. Just look at his face, he's like fucking Sammy now. Right, we've got a big match next against Everton. We've got to beat Everton. Can't lose against them. Otherwise, I'll keep talking about it for years. Like, <laughs> they finished above us twice and they treat it like a trophy. But, uh, nah, there's some, there's some good Everton fans out there. I honestly think Liverpool will finish at least fifth next season. Because, uh, I don't know, I just have a good feeling. Rodgers is bringing in some top players like Big Papa. But I'll tell you what, strikers will be scared shitless of Big Papa. He's a right giant. Brilliant opening. Oh, go on, Ericsson. Oh, you lucky shit, Jagielka. Go on, Sturridge. Yes, Daniel Sturridge. Finally, we've scored. This keeper's been like the Terminator. He's been like Iron Man. Yes, that's a great win. That was such a tough match, seriously. Like, Everton play like Stoke. Yes, yeah, so we officially signed um, Aspaz yesterday and he even changed his bio on Twitter. He hasn't even played for Liverpool yet and uh, I love this kid already. I seriously do. I think he will fight for the club. And I've said it many times, I love players like that who will just fight for the red shit. fucking get stuck in. I love players like that, mate. Yes, Celta have accepted it. 3.9 million. Look at this, he's only on 10k. Only once is 15k. What? I just love this guy, I really do. I do. And he's Spanish as well. I love Spanish players, me. Players like Mata, Silva. I just look. And Cazorla, of course. I love Spanish players, I really do. Nice. Chelsea have accepted our offer. Get in. I fucking love Mata. Look at that beard. This reminds me of Alonso, even though Alonso probably wins in the beard off. But him and Alonso got beautiful beards. Oh, nice. I don't even want to pay Raz. What a legend. Yes, Mata's accepted our offer. Welcome to Liverpool, Mata. Yeah, Torres didn't want to sign just like I thought because he, you know, he never wants to sign for some fucked up reason because of the history between us. But he would come back in real life. That's just bullshit that year. He'd rejoin Liverpool in a fucking heartbeat. Hey, welcome to Liverpool, Aspaz. Welcome to Liverpool, Papa. I'm going to stall this because I've got Mata right now. I'm not sure if I should sign Torres. It might be a bit of a waste of money. Right, so when we come back, we'll be playing Arsenal in the second leg of the Cock Cup, as I call it. And, uh, and hopefully we can uh, progress to the finals and win the Cock Cup. It's going to feel good lifting that Cock Cup. What a fucking shit name, honestly. It needs to change. <laughs> it's so bad. But anyways, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, see you later. Shut up and sit down, you big bald fuck. <laughs>